Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be looking at how to set up your inbox in Gmail. Setting up your inbox is really important because this allows us to keep on top of our emails and to keep organized. But we also recognize that each of us is different, so there are many different options that we can have in how to set up our inbox. So we're going to start off by clicking on the settings icon in the top right hand corner of our screen. We do have an option to see all settings and this is for more advanced settings that I'll go into in a different video. Under here we've got density. So by default this is density so you can see here how my emails are spaced out and I can also see the attachments below the email. If I click on comfortable the spacing doesn't change but you don't see the attachment in the same way anymore. Or I can have compact and this squeezes everything together a bit more. We also have the option for themes. If I can click on my theme, I can click view all and I can choose a different theme for this. Obviously do be careful whether the theme you choose actually can become a distraction. Let's click back here and then we get onto inbox type. So inbox type, as you can see, there's a number of different inboxes here. So at the moment we've got our default inbox. So this is chronologically ordered and you can see at the top you've got these tabs, primary, social and promotions. So if I click on my different tabs, I haven't got any social at the moment, but I've got some in promotions. So this kind of segregates your emails and just has them here in chronological order. With the default inbox, you can also customize this. And this is if you want to turn off the primary, social and promotions. So actually you just have primary and everything is just in one inbox instead of three. We can click on important first, see that upload. So important uses Google AI to determine which of your emails is more important for you. So for example, it could be someone who's from your domain, someone you reply to often. So you'll also see these markers here. These are importance markers. So if I actually click this, it's telling them this is important. And so the Google AI will learn. If I refresh, you'll now see this has come under the important tab. Next we have unread. So if I click on here, this means that all my unread emails will go to the top and then everything else, so my read emails will come underneath that. I also have an option for starred first, so I can star my emails like I have here. And then again, so it has starred at the top and everything else. Next we have priority inbox and priority inbox allows you to use a combination of these. If I click on customize, I can then choose if I want unread, starred or everything else. I can ch change this if I want. I could say also I want unread and important at the top and then starred. So I can change these as I so want. See at the bottom clicking save changes. And the last type of inbox if we go down are multiple inboxes. And again I can customize this. Now by default, I've got labeled and drafts. So let me just go back and show you what that looked like. So I've got starred here and then drafts and then everything else. So what this is effectively doing is almost like creating inboxes within, within the inbox. So these are on top and I can change this as I want. One good solution is actually to have a label as an inbox. So if I actually click on my action, so imagine I've got a label and these are emails that I need to action. So I'm going to copy this where it says label colon action. So I'm going to click back on settings and click on customize for multiple inboxes. And instead of label start, I'm going to paste in there label action. You can put your section name in here as well. I'm going to just call it action. Um, just so you know as well, in the inbox here, you can also change how many conversations you view in your inboxes. So I could say on 15 where they appear, if I want the reading pane, or if I want markers. And so these are the markers I showed earlier. If you don't want these showing, I can click no markers. Perhaps this tidies it up a little bit and click save changes. And so you can see here, I've got action and inbox. So whichever one you choose, obviously you can go back in later and change it as you want. If we go back into settings, we can then see a couple more things. Firstly, we have a reading pane here. At the moment, I've got this off, but if I want it, I can have it on the right of the inbox or below the inbox. So if I turn this on here, I'm going to reload this. 
and then when I click on an email you can see the preview of that email there so in the same way I can edit this here I can turn it off or I can click and have it at the bottom horizontal split And the very last thing on our settings, and this is conversation view. So conversation view is where emails are grouped together based on their subject line. I don't have any examples here, but you will notice this in your emails. So if you don't want this on, you can turn that off there. So I hope these tips have helped you to set up your inbox, to encourage you just to play with those and find out the solution that works best for you.